We kind of got three quarters of the way up the hill. We're actually not far, probably 20 metres from the top. Poor old girl. What I find best is to find a great composition and keep the camera quite level and you'll find the actual subject, I mean this isn't the best composition, the actual subject will pop out of the screen. So, if I look here, we've got it quite central, we can just put a little bit to the side and you'll find the, um, the image looks really good and just pops out, gives you a bit more of a 3D effect. I've come to a revelation today. Dickheads carry tripods. Actually, I've had this uh, thought for quite a while. Are they generally dickheads? Probably not, but you've got to understand you don't really need a tripod unless you're doing fine, fine art photography or it's really, really dark. But most cameras these days can handle can handle a lot of shots without getting too noisy. My general advice, don't be a dickhead and just see if you can use your camera. You'll get the tripod later. So I've got this little technique I call swaying. You point at it and you sway up and down and you sway left and right. Fucking spin effects. This is how you reverse a 40 year old car backwards. I suppose reversing is backwards, down a hill. Keep pumping the brakes, and hopefully here we can make a bit of a turn around. Oh yeah, very nice. So luckily, we didn't roll it. Now we're going to go forward. Actually, we didn't have too much trouble getting up here. It was quite good. Was, when I was getting up towards the top, it just started to run out of puff. Even though I had the revs up and I tried to keep the speed up, but. I mean, a four wheel driver get up here cinch. Maybe I could give it another go and see how many. So, this is where we're heading over to this massive mountain. Must be at least 50 metres high above water level. So, this is the Concurry Dam wall. I'll just turn around. lovely doesn't it and that's where we were before like right up on top of the hill that's where we drove up so some people might say it's a bit dangerous or a bit stupid taking ten thousand dollars worth of camera gear across a, a dam but I'm kneeling down so it's safe this is so awesome look at that nature doing its thing me, my board, I have named my board, and Tilly, who's back over there somewhere. Fuck it, in effect. So see here, that would be a perfect shot in the afternoon. She might even take a photo of it now, see what we can do. One of my army days, I used to bounce up this, no worries, now I'm getting old and fat. As you can see, the dam's looking a bit clogged up, so... But it's good, there's plenty of water here. Basically, what I'm looking for is the balance of colour and shapes and space. When we find something good. You're either walking up, or you're walking down, you can't win. A little bit parched, a little bit thirsty, but not far away. It's been a nice little trek today. Went up that hill behind me. Go back to the cafe and have a hot truck. But it's worth my morning walk. It's a lovely little trek. Probably all up by the time I get back to the car. It'll be about two hours. Oh, a day in the life of Murray. That's the one. Actually, I think there's a movie about that.
still smelling good. Let that sit for a bit. This is what you call not a pelican anymore, poor bugger. We're at the bottom of the dam and he seems to have flown in the uh, fence that stops all the debris. And the log. I'm starting to think he's not a pelican. He's either a brogger, but they're grey, or a jabberoo, so maybe I'm going to go a jabberoo. My home away from home, my home at home, my home when I'm driving, my home when I'm working, my home when I'm sleeping, my home when I'm eating, pretty much my home. Fuck, that was too. Fucking spin effects. I've just done like a, um, a day in the life of Murray, which is me. And I trekked over the back of uh, the dam, over the side, took a heap of photos and a bit of video and stuff. So I'm just like, recording a little bit of video. So, I know. <laughs> Something to do.